Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to F2 Worlds, the channel where we talk all things Final Fantasy. In the world of Spira, the devastation of sin has caused nothing but pain and suffering for its people. For the last 1,000 years, it is believed that only the final summoning through the teachings of Yevin would be the only way to dispose of sin temporarily and deliver the calm. But it will return after a short time and continue its cycle of destruction. Despite this 1,000-year-old belief, there are those who believe that sin can be destroyed by other means. To prove this, the Albed and Crusaders embarked on a joint operation to prepare Machina technology to fight sin and its spawns in a mission that came to be known as Operation Mihen. In today's video, we will be taking a closer look at this mission, how it started, how it went, and the aftermath. So, without further ado, let us get into today's video. Operation Meehan was already planned before the arrival of Titus, as the Albed and the Crusaders have already begun preparations in Mushroom Rock Road for the ultimate battle with Sin. The Albed and Crusaders trained in the use of Machina weapons and hand-in-hand -hand combat should they have to fight the Sin spawn while the railgun was to be used against Sin itself. As part of their preparations, they have begun to collect Sin spawn and gather them all into one place, that being the Mushroom Rock Road, in order to lure Sin to them. This operation was rejected by the ranks of Yevin as they believed that the use of Machina should be banned and not be used in any capacity. But some of those in Yevin, mainly the newly appointed Maester Seymour and Maester Wen Kinok, supported this operation knowing it would fail and would enforce the will of the church to the people of Spira and get non-believers to worship the Yevin religion. Naturally, the leadership and support from two high-ranking maesters of Yevin gave hope to the Crusaders and the Albed, thus ensuring the operation is a go. When Yuna and the party arrives to the Mushroom Rock Road, the Albed and the Crusaders are on the process of finishing the preparations as they are bringing in the Sin Spawn and preparing for the weapons of war. Here, we see Seymour and Keenock in the headquarters as they oversee the operation, with the former inspiring the soldiers to fight for the freedom of Spira, secretly knowing the operation would result in failure. Seeing this as an uncharacteristic trait of a maester, Waka confronts the maester of his support in the following dialogue. Excuse me, Maester Seymour, why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevin? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevin, their intentions are pure. And I... Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon. As a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. Uh. <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a Maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. Y you're kidding. As a fun aside, the player also has the option of talking to Gara and either support his cause to fight in the front lines or assure him that protecting the headquarters was also important, with each decision having a big impact on Gata and Luzu's fate, but no overall effect on the story. When the party is ready for the operation, the Crusaders and the Albed bring out the Sin Spawn in order to lure Sin to them in order to begin the fight. Sure enough, the bait worked. Sin came in and attacked the soldiers, and the Sin Spawn escaped its cage and attacked the party, resulting in a confrontation against Sin Spawn Gi. The party eventually defeats the Sin Spawn, but Sin comes in and causes devastation to the beachside, unleashing its army of Sin Spawn scales to attack the soldiers in direct combat after being attacked by the Albed cannons. After much devastation, Sin Spawn Gi regained part of its strength and fought the trio of Seymour, Yuna, and Orin, resulting in its second and final defeat. Shortly after, Sin used its Giga Graviton ability to destroy many of the fighting crusaders and the Albed. In an attempt to use the railgun to destroy Sin, it unleashed a shield of energy that eventually overpowered the gun and destroyed it, despite it struggling for a little bit in the beginning. Now we come to the bit where the fates of Luzu and Gata are determined. If the player chose to encourage Gata to fight in the front lines, they will find his unresponsive body in the beach, 
with Luzu surviving the operation and returning to Besaid. If the player chose to assure Gata that protecting the headquarters was also important, the player will find Gata in the beach screaming for Luzu's name, indicating that Luzu died in the battle and Gata survives, also choosing to return to Besaid. The resulting devastation in the aftermath of the operation was a massive blow to the morale of the Crusaders and the Albed, with many ranks of the former going to serve Yevon temples, despite them being excommunicated from the church. This results in the solidifying of the teachings of Yevon that only the final summoning is the only solution to sin, thus gaining new followers. Seymour and Kinox's hold on Yevon grows, with their powers and authorities growing significantly. Some of the survivors of the operation were also found by LeBlanc as she used the remnants to form and grow her syndicate, which proved to be a nuisance in Final Fantasy X-2. And the remains of the railgun were also used as the main headquarters of the newly formed Youth League in Final Fantasy X-2, founded by Nuge to research Spira's history using spheres, while also being used as a memorial for those who died in the operation. Despite the result of the operation being that of the strengthening of the church and the excommunication of the crusaders, in addition to the further hatred of the Albed for not only already defying the teachings of Yevon, but proving them right in their failed operation, this joint mission proved that there were those in Spira that held hope that sin could be defeated without the use of the final summoning. Not every inhabitant in Spira believes only in the teachings of Yevon, but rather believe that not everything is forever, as the Albed still had hope until the very end, when Yuna and her guardians defeat Sin for good and give the eternal calm, giving them the ultimate victory when Yevon was seen as a fraud after seeing that Sin was defeated forever and Spira was once again a place full of happiness and joy. And there is the story of Operation Meehan. What do you all think? Did you think this operation was an important plot piece of the overall story of Final Fantasy X? What would have been different if this operation never took place and Yuna and her guardians just continued along their journey to Xanarkand? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know if you have any topics I can cover for the alternate timeline series as I am currently writing a few of them and would like more inspiration. And be sure to join my Discord if you want to continue the conversation about topics covered in any of these videos or Final Fantasy in general. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, have a good rest of your day or night, and other than that, this is Enzo signing out, and that, as they say, is that.